everybody welcome back to my channel it's Saturday morning late Saturday morning and I'm heading out to run some errands and I thought you know what I think I'm gonna pick stuff a goodwill because it's basically on the way to where I'm going I'm basically just hitting Hobby Lobby and I have to hit the grocery store because tomorrow's for, uh, Father's Day so I want to get some things for a nice meal for my husband and um, so I thought you know what I'm gonna be kind of near goodwill anyway I'll quick go by and I figured, well, let's go ahead and just see if I can throw together a video and hopefully it'll be interesting. So I'm going to hit Goodwill, walk around there, and then I have a couple things I need to get a Hobby Lobby for, some projects that I want to do. One project I have started, and I just need some fabric to finish it up. And then the other one is something I have an idea for. I haven't started at all. But, um, so I'm going to see if they have what I want at Hobby Lobby. And just see what else is there, anything that'll spark some creativity so anyway all right i'm just gonna take you guys along <clears throat> this morning sorry <laughs> here we go took in a muscle bit there and it was all right so first up will be goodwill <laughs> then hobby lobby it, it, it probably won't be a real long video but what the heck you come with me we can go hang out for a little bit and uh see how it goes <laughs> Okay, we're here. The only thing is it's Saturday morning, so it's probably gonna be crowded. I don't like coming on Saturdays, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, first things first. I thought these shoes were so cool. I thought I'd get them for Josh, but they're a little big for him. But aren't this cool? I saw these really cool, like pink sparkly converse. They definitely were too small for me, but I just love the pink sparkle. I was trying to get the price. For you guys i remember back in the day i could get them for like seven dollars and 47 cents so the prices are gone up a little bit this shelf had a ton of cool knickknacks i love this little old victorian style porcelain thing i don't think it was all that old it was in too good of a condition to be really really old but it was fun I don't know why I'm such a sucker for the old porcelain dishes like that with painted flowers and like very, very fragile porcelain. I just, they're so pretty. I did leave that there though. Look at all this stuff. I like this, there's this particular store, they recently redid it. So there's no more color coordinated aisles, which I really preferred, but more and more the Goodwills are, are switching from that. This tray was really cool because I really like the tile in the middle. It's really heavy. I was having a hard time kind of holding it there. $12 was a little steep. Had it been half off, uh, I think it would, would have been a better deal. I don't think I would have bought it. But, oh, I love this little stool. I think this is a little step stool for kids when they want to go like brush their teeth like in the bathroom like, so they can get up to the counter. I didn't think ten dollars was really bad for that. It's like really cool folk art. Like, I was so tempted to get it, but I have no use for it. I have no idea where to put it, so I did leave it there. But I loved it. It was so sweet. That's super. It was like stuck on that other little wooden piece. This was really pretty too, but unfortunately, it was really like scuffed up. It paint on it. You can see it. It's it's seen better days. It's really sweet though. I can kind of see it like in the kitchen on top of a table, like along a wall where you like stack stuff on it. I don't know. Like an old like farmhouse kitchen. A little cheese dish. I love these. I see them all the time. But I never buy them because I'll never use them. Really fun though. Don't fall. I was trying to make sure that yeah, things were so precariously situated there. One of these days I know something's going to fall and drop and I'm going to be so embarrassed. But <laughs> trying to avoid it as long as possible. Oh, I almost got this door uh, because of me loving Alice in Wonderland. I've always wanted to get a little door that I just put on my wall at the base of the, of the floor and get like a little brass knob for it. Um, just to kind of look like, you know, you're going to Wonderland. But I, I loved it because I like the idea, but I don't think I like the execution of it. This was really cool. It was wooden. It was a wooden tray of some sort. Pretty heavy too. All my people who love vintage mid-century kitchen stuff will probably love this. This was seriously tempting to buy just because I had the original box. And the price was pretty good. I think it was $6.99. Yeah. 
Considering it still had its box, it probably was rarely used, if at all. Kind of cool. Here's some corning some for my corningware fans. I like this pattern. I don't see it very often. I think $5 for that, you know, with the lid, really, really good deal. I did leave it there. But I've tried collecting corningware, but I just, I get it and then I never use it. I have like a bread, a bread dish, I think. But these cute little petite, I love these little petite casseroles. And $2.99. I've seen these go from a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I feel like that's more than fair. I think that's a cookie jar. That's really sweet. A little decanter. Another little kitchen object with tile on it. This is really cute. I love the picture. I do the zoom in here in a second. I love the picture. I came really close to buying this one because of the cheap price and the really cute picture. Oh, kind of kicking myself now. I might have to go back for that. If I go back and it's still there, I'll probably still buy it. Like, here's me looking at the porcelain stuff. Little creamer and sugar. Really, really cool. I love the little picture. It's so tiny. It'd be so cute with some little flowers in it. Again, why didn't I buy $2? But this is my problem, though, because I buy so much stuff, and then it sits around. I don't know what to do with it. So I'm, I'm, it's a healthier mindset. I'd rather leave it sometimes than have stuff. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Now, see, this, they're, they're aisles. I'm trying to show the difference in the aisles. This is all plates, and behind me is all mugs and bowls. I'll show you that in a second. So I don't mind it because I like seeing all the, the kitchenware stuff in there because half the time it's, it's vintage. So seeing it all open like this is nice. But I still like the color coordinated aisles. Yeah, this, this makes me excited because I love seeing mugs, especially bowls, because I think Pyrex in my head. Like I think vintage Pyrex. So I'm always like zoning in to see if I can find anything. Nothing today, unfortunately, but... Still a fairly good stash. This was a really neat bowl set. I have one of these bowls that are really small in my rice bowl collection. I don't know how many bowls were there. It looks like you had five or six bowls. Seven dollars, not a bad deal. And these are really pretty. Those would look gorgeous if you have open shelves in a kitchen and you can just kind of like stack them, like leave them all out, but like side by side. That'd look really fun. This blue glass was so pretty. Had they had a set of these, like six of them, I would have bought all six all day long. And I rarely record this section of the store where you get electronics and stuff. But they had some cool, I thought kind of cool things. So I figured I'll just throw it in. This clock was really cool. Again, this tempted me, but it doesn't really go with the colors in my house. Exactly. So I don't know. Are talking clocks. I vaguely remember those. I don't know how old those are though. Are they 80s, 90s, early 2000s? Don't ask me. Sometimes you can find some really cool things in here. I found a couple of vintage hair crimpers for like only like a couple bucks in this section of the store. So if you like the idea of crimping your hair or getting curling irons, they're easy enough to clean. You can get them for so, so cheap. I can't leave without checking out all the purses. I had a dream last night that I found this really cool pink purse. And I was like debating getting it. It was like a big pink leather purse. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I'm sharing that, but. Anything that sticks out to you? Not a bad selection. Okay, Ooh, look at the hair. I'm a little windblown. The wind is open today. It's so nice out. Anyway, nothing. I didn't buy anything at Goodwill. It was actually, like, I found some really cute stuff, but nothing I wanted to take home with me. So I'm now here at Hobby Lobby. I basically am just looking for a particular fabric for a seat I want to cover, and then um, I want to find some duct tape, a specific pattern. I don't know if they'll have it here. I might have to order that online. I'm not sure. But... I have a particular color scheme I'm looking for when it comes to fabric I, and I want something thick like a thick cotton denim type quality or even like a vinyl 
I don't know if they're going to have anything like that here, but you know, when you have something in mind, like a, a certain particular color or style, but you can't put it into words, like that's kind of what I have with the fabric color style that I want. I'm really hoping they have it here, but if not, maybe later this week I'll hit Joanna Fabrics because they have a really good selection as well. So, all right, let's head in. Alrighty, here we go. All right, so I walked right back to the duct tape selection here, and they did not have their huge selection. They still did not have <laughs> one that I wanted, so I was very frustrated with that. That's kind of sad, but I will, I will find it. I will find it. Now I was looking around for some really fun fabrics. They have so many. So first, I was going for colors and patterns. Um, I think originally I was thinking green, so that's why I'm in this section. Though this bright floral one was really catching my eye and then I realized like some of the ones I was looking at like I believe this section here oh yeah this was so cute I love this fabric but it's really thin cotton and I wanted something thick and durable but I might have to go back and buy this for some project later on and then I found the fabrics that were thicker like these ones particularly which I love this one were like a thick denim um, I realized later I think it's called Oh, I forget what it is. I, I do show the sign later. I've never heard of this material before. I love the mushrooms too. All these materials in here that I'm showing you are nice, thick, thick material. It reminds you of like, like jeans, like not jeans nowadays, like, oh yeah, duck cloth. Who knew? I've never heard of that before. I'll just see, <laughs> this old when I found out about duck cloth. Anyway, but the thickness was perfect. So, and I quick checked some of the other ones as well, just to see. These were more like upholstery. These were really heavy duty. These were nice too, but the colors, like it's kind of, eh, oh, this is outdoor. But, anyways. Okay, well that's everything for today. Um, I did pick out a fabric. Um, if you want to know which one I picked then you're going to have to wait till my next video because I'm going to put it on my next project. So <laughs> I'm such a tease. I mean, who cares? Who cares? But anyway, I'm still not going to tell you. So if you want to know if you're really burning with curiosity, which I'm sure nobody is, but if you are in my next video, hopefully next video, I will be using it on my next project. So anywho, I have other errands to run, but nothing too exciting. It's just the grocery store. I won't drag you guys along for that, but I thought this might be kind of a fun video just to kind of walk through Hobby Lobby and Goodwill. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you all are doing well. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your week. Until next time I see you. Bye. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.